Alright, alright, viewers, uh, this, welcome to this Griff user SK, uh, as a Griff user 2 guy, and welcome to the 21st episode of this Spy Night tutorial. Today's topic is we'll be covering the preparation for the tier 3, also known as top tier. So before we get prepared for the top 3, we do have, we're going to do a checklist. And make sure you got all your equipment set up. If you're following my video correctly, you should have almost all of them, every one of them checked. Start with the sword, which is actually important. You should have these four weapons obtained. And they should be heated up, covering all type of monsters. Now, you're also going to need about four brandish. Three or four brandish. I prefer to have four brandish. It might be better to have four of them. And then craft each one to three star and turn. Craft them. Craft your way up the five star easily. So, first of all, four three stars. Then work on the four four star. And then finally, five star. You never know your your V might come, especially for the shadow one. You never know your V might appear. So be sure you have all that sword. Now the handgun, that four of them you really need right now, as from now, this stage. Black Hawk, Giga Pulsar, Silver Six, and Strike Needle. Now, bomb is not important, I only got them for the mission. And if you want to craft bomb, work your way to the bomb and do it do them at the end of the my tutorial, way down in the line. Next one is the helmet. Now uh, I recommend you want to have three Ashtar cap before crafting any of them to 5 star. Ha first thing, mandatory. You should have this hemp that will cover the, the shadow part. That would be fiends and undead. Here it would be construct and gremlin. And this will be the beast and jelly. You need a defense. Same thing for the armor. Be sure you have 3 ashtar coat. Always have that white at first before crafting any of them to five stars. Now I actually use seven more because because it's shadow first war and it protects against undead. I recommend that. And the shear only need one dark tone shear. Now the trinket is not important right now, but. We'll be crafting a trinket all right, and we need to do that. We need elite orb and then turn it up. You probably you need to do lockdown, if, but it's better to buy them. And more most important, in order to make that all possible, we need mod caliber. And I already got two mod caliber off screen. Didn't why I did the RT. I actually got two mod caliber. They have well item. You can only get them for prize here and by exchange with 50 chemo coins. Or you could buy them in an the auction. That's the only way you can get mod catapult. You need them for the trinkler. Now that is the weapon check heading in the past four minutes. Next part is the, the trinkler. I mean the crown check. You want about, about over 80,000 crowns. 89 would be good. The battle sprite. You probably want to have one battle sprite level up. If you can get around level 20 to 25, well done. If you had cho chosen mass awake, perfect. But if you haven't chosen mass awake, don't worry, there's plenty of time. Yeah, that would be the next battle sprite you, you're going to get. The mass awake. I recommend that. Now, the skill. And this is very important. You want to be 
wherever I show you in the previous episode, when well, up to the danger room, and maybe the danger mission, you want to be capable of taking on, taking on, well, capable of taking on a danger mission. I will expect you to take on two, two or maybe three danger missions out of possible four on advance, or better, on solo, from start to finish, uh, without using spark of life. Emergency revive is all right, or better. If you can do that. You're making good progress, and you're up to date. Another way to check are you good enough is if you want to, you could go to public finder, and hopefully you find someone on the lead, of course. And uh, if they're on around dead 13, which should be perfect, or near to dead 18, and they're playing a lead, you could join them, and then when you get to dead 18, hopefully that member will go to tier 3, ask them, to join you the tier 3. That won't mind. And then if you want go solo and you can try and get to I already done that. I got the dead 28 on the lead and completed. One dead actually completed. Five days gameplay five days of the game time right here I already can do that 28 elite. Uh, you want to be, you want to be able to get around dead twenty-five. You want to be capable of doing dead twenty-five. Or if you if your equipment is fully heated up, dead twenty-six. That is the target I want you. You have to be aiming for dead twenty-six, and that would be. I'm going to be pretty harsh, but I'm going to be push you along. Try to do them on the lead. Uh, advance is good, but try to do them on a lead. If you can do that, perfect. Now the friendless. You might want to have around 30. As odds, spy night is kind of social interaction. You want to talk to people. You want to have good experience talking to other players. And you might, if you're playing on YouTube and make it popular, you want to be talking to your friends. Make yourself popular. Hopefully that will happen sometime if... Hopefully. Yeah, the skill. The reason I'm saying about that is... I had, there was an update around two days ago regarding the rank mission. And I tried the rank mission. It was hard. I'm not kidding. There are two, two missions. It was very hard. Even as great user, even how it took me a couple of attempts. It is hard to do them on solo and on elite. And that is why I'm telling you, it's very important to get your skill up to scratch. And that's why I mentioned about the skill. You need to be able that the. That you target, that you, that is your skill difficulty. Your, that should be your skill level. Need that. You have that. You're doing great, and you should be able. Next part is the incoming event. Now, the incoming event you want to be aware of is the black cat. The twitter tone. The black cat may come soon. It haven't come for a long time, but that come, may come next. Next, black cats, and that would be very important because the reason I'm saying black cats is well, it kind is 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 an evil version of black cats. It's a big giant black cat. You know when you see them. I recommend you get the tier three for that. You have a great chance. The black cat, and if you're very lucky and kill a certain amount of black cat, you might get a special book. If you get the I, I, material known as Book of Dark Witcher, keep it. And what you do with that is you invite your member, make sure you have a food party, and go to day 8, or do some couple of deaths before you get day 8. Take on the boss, defeat it, make sure you defeat the boss. Do normal if you want to, but be sure you defeat the boss, 
and you get your great Faisal helm. That will help a lot. And that will be black cats. The Tour de Tourne. It's not important, but you could use the Tour de Tourne tour as a skill test. And uh, you want to grind, you need to be battling fiends. I prefer, I prefer you. I show you the mission here. You want to be fighting fiends. I think there is a fiends. Yep, yeah, right there. This is perfect. If you ever face, if the total turn event is on, do the do T one. Start with T one. Make it all the way up to T. If you get the end of this dead, start again. Or actually, you could go to T you could go to dead five, but just start again. I prefer you just start all the way the first one. You could do dead five or maybe deck six if you want to. But uh, provide the uh, fiends. But not question. But I uh, don't do that one. It's a question mark. You might not get it. But if you want, it's up to you. And that's useless. This one is good. Good one, especially the wiener. Oh, that's the best one. You, if you get pretty lucky with the wiener, you're in for golden. Jackpot, that's the best one. If you get the special winner, Jackpot. And Whoopi Gay is, I assume, yeah, useless. The next one, the next event that could happen is the Gremish Assault. Well, only that can only happen in Christmas. That one is not worth it and it is hard, but if you want to have fun and prove your skill, go for it. They also, they also save winter feasts, and that's not useful. It's not a word because you have to be grinding a lot, and you don't want to do that during Christmas holiday. It's not worth it. But if you want to see what type of dead and see how you fare and have fun, just do that mission. Just do it for fun. Don't grind. Uh, another one is the cake room. It's the cake event that's only happened I want once a year April. Another thing is the Halloween event where you have you be hunted for the candy. That is a water event. I will definitely do that. To be honest, it's pretty easy, straightforward. Not to worry about that event. Next one is a park okay. The shower a park okay. He is that event is quite tough actually, and this might be one of the reasons you need master rake, and this is why you need another branch because it's a special weapon you can craft into. And I think that's it. So those are the events you need to be prepared. Now the next part is I going to tell you the plan. What are going to do for tier three, and what be my main goal to get? Well, first of all, after I've done this, I'm going to progress through the tier three quickly. No if and but, and uh, you probably want your weapon heat it up, level four or five. As for the rarity, I already got a ton of orb. Uh, no, I already got the weapon's fire crystal. But the main thing you want, and this is made the different, this is made the transition quick. You need shiny fire crystal. And since you're heading to tier 3, it should be a lot easier to get that. You should have no problem getting shiny fire crystal. Honest truth. And you may get waiting fire crystal sometime. The more waiting fire crystal, the more you fire start level up the level. The more. The more fire start we level up, the easier it become. You probably need to get that. Try to get that level 10. There's no rush with that, but try. But this is most important. We are throughout the mission. Heat up your weapon. And be sure you get a lot of shiny fire crystal. 
and you all I also gonna be grinding for a ton of up. This one should be is easier to get in than Lee Orb. I can I can be sure of that. Because last like day when I did that mission I did get a ton of orb. I already got one. Actually it is possible to get in death seventeen. It does happen sometime rarely. But if you get to death nineteen you should be able to get a ton of orb more a lot easier. All you need to do is get eleven more and that should be very easy to get. No problem whatsoever. Another plan you want to get you need to get nine thousand C E. It will cost you about eighty eight hundred ten thousand crown around that or even nearly a million crowns. So you have a bit of crown grinding to do. Because you know why you need nine thousand C E? You probably well you need actually you need a ten thousand because you're getting elite orb as well. But I want about eleven thousand C E because you need more elite orbs. Or even twelve thousand. You need more elite up to get that four star. You don't need to buy a ton of orb because I never bought a ton of orb. I never buy them. Just never. The most, the further I can go, in the elite orb. Oh well, of course you might have to buy that, but you won't need it. Now you're going to be spending eighteen hundred C E for the mastery battle sprite. That one is very important. I explain why. But you all have to worry about till the end. I just hope the parkway doesn't come before that. In fact, in fact, if you get one, well, if you get, just wait till you get to the. Wait till you get rank eight one. Wait till you get the rank nine one, and that when you focus on mass awake. Now the thirty two hundred C E you're gonna need, need that and because Shadow Layer and you are going to do Shadow Layer it Shadow Layer will happen. Yeah, you know remember the, the reason I say that is remember the mission I did as grip user I find hard and took Yeah, I did two missions yesterday evening. There are very well, now evening and this morning. They're ridiculous hard. For each mission, the first mission is too bad. It took me three attempts to get it. The second mission is hard. Be concerned with the shadow layer, the, s the monster in sh the end monster for the shadow layer. It does concern with that, and I did it, and it's actually harder. In some sense, somewhere it is harder than Shattered Lair. Yeah, it is harder. That took three attempts for me to get it right. It could have taken more attempts. It could have took me about five to six attempts. So because of that, yes, Shattered Lair is a must. I'm telling you that. And so once I get once I get up to the the end around rank nine, rank nine three would do. I be planning for shattered layer, and once I get plenty of CE. Alright, viewers, and that is all for this video. If you if you, if you any of the stuff didn't satisfy, you can go and improve it. But before you do get move on, be sure you get all those stuff. Take off. So this is Griff User SK, and thank you for this opportunity. And 90 minutes and 30 second is not too bad for a checklist. You know, like <laughs> like most plane, like when taking off, like most checkout would normally take about five minutes. But since this is quite important and. It had to be done, and I also tell my plan for the tier three. So if you if you did you enjoy that, thank you very much for enjoying it, and I see you for the next part.
So I see you in episode 22 where we're going to go on to tier 3.